Due to our current situation, the help that Future Frontiers can give to schools like myself is much, much needed and, and it's needed now. The reason for that is because we know Future Frontiers does some fantastic work with disadvantaged students and from all sorts of backgrounds. Disadvantaged students, it, it's well known, it's you know all over the media and certainly all over research that they don't have the same opportunities, connections and networks. In some cases, they have no role models and the ones that do have or some that do have, they have very few role models where they might want to have time to sit down um, and have those conversations around future aspirations, etc. They're not always able, able to have that. There also are a number of challenges that schools face. But I have to use the, any additional funding that I get from the government, for example, I have to use that towards hand sanitizers. I have to use that towards extra cleaning. I have to use that towards buying laptops and, and making sure our students have access to internet at home. There's always a funding funding issue. Um, and that's not just right now, that's been historic. We also don't have the expertise within schools as well. Yes, we've got a careers advisor, but our careers advisor is no way near as good as some of the first-hand advice that industry experts can give. The pandemic has certainly widened inequality in our society. And, and that's probably most evident, in my opinion, when you actually come to schools or when you certainly focus on young people. Some of our students have now missed almost an entire year of schooling. And, and that's gonna be that's gonna be detrimental to their future prospects because that's gonna have a domino effect. Young people are confused right now. People say, Do you know the answers? I said, I don't know the answers. And if I don't know the answers, how can I expect young people and families to know the answers as well? Schools are working incredibly hard, but you know and I know remote learning is not a substitute for face-to-face -face teaching. Because of that, um, there's always going to be growing attainment gaps. But I don't want to sort of just paint all this doom and gloom and think actually, well, actually there is no solution because there is a solution and there is hope. It's really, really important, not just we're positive, but we also have a really, really clear map that's going to support many of our students. Many of those students that are confused right now, but many of, that, many of those students that lack encouragement. And if we can offer that, and I know Future Frontiers is amazing at that too, um, then we have a chance of turning this around.